All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we have Sparky's uh, SD70M Conrail sitting here. This is the one I originally did. And so we're going to start uh, disassembling this one and going over this and got to get the body cleaned up. So I'm going to have to cut some wires. So these wires here to free the body from the chassis, pretty much. And then I'm going to have to... Uh, cut the ditch light wires and get all this taped up where I've put in uh, redone as you can see where I've got the uh, sugar cube speakers sitting I got one sitting here and one sitting there and now the decoder looks pretty good it doesn't look like he's got any damage to it or anything's gotten inside so that's the good news so far we'll just have to check to see how the motor is and hopefully everything is okay so we're going to completely disassemble this whole locomotive so sorry Sparky but I'm gonna I'm gonna have to uh, clean up your weathering job <laughs> we'll try and make this look uh, as good as new as we can back in a bit all right everybody welcome back to part two of uh, <clears throat> Sparky's 107 107 local restorations and saving as you can see, we have the Conrail all cleaned up now. Unfortunately, during the cleanup, the uh, one of the number came off. The numbers came off this side. And the numbers have also come off on this side during restoration. So we're going to have to do some uh, renumbering. So as you can see, she's all cleaned up. There's still a little bit of uh, residue yet to get out, but we're getting there. So the good news is that uh, I did have this running. Uh, the motor does work. I still have to test the lights. And as you can see, we're going to have to see what we can do about... Uh, this is really embedded in the, uh, in the deck here. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get all that out or not. And as you can see how it is up at the front. Uh, we've got to do a little bit of work on the handrails up front. So the restoration is slowly coming along. And as you can see, there's still a little bit more dirt on the plow. So we're just going to have to try and get the rest of this off. So the good news is I just got done running. Uh, the locomotive and it does run and there doesn't seem to be any problems with the motor uh, so the chassis and everything is all back together and as you can see I'm in the process of uh, wiring it all up now I just wanted to show everybody exactly how I go about doing things before I go any farther with uh, Sparky's uh, SD70M Conrail here. <clears throat> so basically we have uh, two sugar cube speakers. We have one here in the back of the locomotive which is placed right here and glued in. And then we have another sugar cube up front in the same placement and now we also have a styrene board and I basically is what I did when I took the original board out I copied the board centered the screws this board is screwed back into the motor and as you can see how the board goes to the front of that weight and to the, just to the front of that weight as you can see there's like a flywheel guard now so now I have a place to put uh, all my wires now these extra wires here are for like number boards or strobe light. So we're going to leave these hooked up and then you can get placed in nicely. Now as you can see how everything is wired in real nice. And I use shrink tubing. Always use the shrink tubing. And I really shorten up the wires so I can really compact this thing in. So now we have a nice little placement for the decoder where the decoder sits. And which is also taped in. That way, if I ever have to uh, do any work, <clears throat> and like this is the second time I've worked on this locomotive, 
it's easy for me to uh, take the tape off and dismantle this. And I had to do some extra shrink tubing, as you can see where the wires are cut, right here. And then I have enough wire on the deck to wire it back in. I just I always give myself just a little bit extra. Not a whole lot, not like what the factory does. The factory likes to give you gobs of wire, which is a big no-no. And I know that uh, when some other people, from <clears throat> fixing other people's mistakes, open up locomotives and there's nothing but gobs of wire. You don't need all this wiring. The less wire you have, the more room that you've got to compact things and the better the shell is going to fit without any problems. So, this runs fine. I put my finger in front of it and cranked it up to full speed and it doesn't stall out like uh, the other locomotive where you go to stop it on the track and the whole motor and everything, the whole work stop. So actually, actually this Cato motor, uh, unbelievable, but still works just like it was the day it came out of the factory. And uh, when I cleaned up the trucks and, and took the trucks and all the gearing out, I was surprised on how very little in this, in this unit, how very little the dirt was. But no, nevertheless, I cleaned everything up. Anyway, so this is a, like another three and a half hour uh, restoration here going on. So each locomotive is gonna take about three and a half hours to do. So, but that's all right. This is what I'm going to do for a friend. I'm not charging him any money for this. This is, I, I contacted Sparky and I said, well, after I found out that he had that major flood, give me the locomotives and I'll see what I can do to get them work, working for you. And there won't be no charge on this. And besides, this is the one that I originally worked on, like I said before, and uh, this one's under warranty. So... But then again, when he was over here, I said, I know you, I realized that you had to take the body off. And uh, I told you that the, <laughs> the warranty is uh, <clears throat> still valid. But unfortunately, because of the flood damage, it doesn't cover flood damage. But I was just joking around. So, <laughs> so, so far, uh, so good on this one. So when we come back, we should have this thing uh, fully put back together and operational on the track and pulling some cars. So we'll be back shortly. Wow, look who we got on the railroad today. We got it all done. It works great. All the lights work. Didn't have to replace any lights. Which is a good thing. See, the headlights working, the ditch lights work. Sound works on it great, nothing wrong with the speakers, everything is good on this one. This one's back up to 100% running capability. Yeah, it just takes right off when you crank it up, which is perfect. Nothing wrong with this Cato motor. We got lucky in this one. And as you can see, my special water tower is there because I'm celebrating. Crack the beer in celebration of uh, getting this locomotive back up to 100% again. see it works great now the one thing I'm going to show you is uh, 
I'm gonna bring it forward. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my finger. I'm gonna stop it. Now, when I did the other uh, Conrail, the, the Elko by Bowers, it wouldn't do this. As you can see. I'll shut the sound off. Okay. You can hear the wheel spinning. Let it go and it runs. I do that to the Bowers and the uh, the motor and wheels and everything all come to a stop because I'm putting pressure up by holding it here. No downward pressure, just I'm just holding it. So when I let it go, it takes off. So this is what you look for. When you're doing a restoration and cleanup after something's get damaged, if your locomotive doesn't do this, the wheel spin and stuff, then you know something's up with the motor. This is how you know. We'll just shut her back down, let her go. And mind you, when you turn it up that high, it does go for a bit. Because I do have a lot of momentum in, into this. So that uh, locomotive is working just fine. And this is the one I originally did for uh, Sparky before the flood. In a few minutes, we're going to do clear the air thing on, on, on a few items. I seen Sparky's rant uh, video. There you go, Dave. Well, the cleanup went pretty good. I still got uh, a little more areas to uh, get into. Um, so we're going to have to redo uh, the numbers on either side of the cab. There is a spring missing off the back knuckle coupler. We'll have to get a new spring put on that one to get that coupler back. Or else, or else we would be uh, pulling cars, like I said. Uh, we're not going to pull cars with it because we're not going to be able to get that locked in properly. So, But everybody's going to be able to see this locomotive run on my uh, layout. Now, as for uh, everybody helping Sparky... Uh, out uh, sending them either train stuff or cash uh, donation hey, hey that is great but I seen his rant video because of what uh, one person has said and kind of got him upset uh, about the locomotive that he bought that he paid what was I think he said it's a thousand bucks or something he bought it a long time ago he ordered it, paid for it, and still hasn't got it yet. And then, uh, what was it, eight, nine months later, he has a flood. All right, so he had a flood. So this person says, how can you spend $1,000 on this when you got all this to fix? Well, let's see. Um, we'll call this guy Mr. Mr. Tool. Well, Mr. Tool, he bought this a long time ago before the flood happened. Now, if he was a fortune teller, he'd be saying to himself, I don't think I'll spend a thousand dollars today because in eight, eight or nine months from now, I'm probably going to have a flood and I'm going to have to probably, uh, have the money for that. Uh, nobody can see the future, uh, jerk off tool or whatever you want to call yourself dislikes his video makes us as this BS comment and gets people upset and kind of pissed me off when I heard too so I don't. you get the odd person and I know everybody goes through this they get a dislike all right I got a dislike. Oh, okay. So the guy doesn't like my video. Oh, well, don't worry about it. Or he has a rude comment. I, I read the rude comments that I get. I look at them. Sometimes I do respond. 
Well, somebody says, uh, nobody cares about your car. Yeah, I remember that guy. Well, that guy does, does subscribe now. <laughs> because of what I sent back to him. Oh, well, that's cool. But, I had somebody dislike my install videos. Really. You don't like the way I've installed the sound decoders into these locomotives. Everybody else thought I'm doing a great job. One person thinks I'm not doing it right. Hmm. If somebody thinks I'm not doing something right, I'd like to see you do it better than me. If not, if you can't do it better than me, or if you can't do anything better than anybody else who's putting videos up on YouTube, then... How about shut your mouth, watch the video. If you don't like it, don't say nothing and don't put a dislike on it and stop being a jerk off. Only jerk offs and tools and assholes do this kind of stunt. I don't like that video, so I'm going to put a dislike on that. Or I'm going to send him a rude comment. Well, you're just a piece of work, really. All you people who do that are just a bunch of idiots. And... <clears throat> Everybody needs help every once in a while. Goodwill go, goes a long way. But with all the bullshit going on around the world, everywhere else, we're all trying to be, put that aside, we're, not, we're trying to concentrate on our, on our hobby, whatever our hobby, hobby is. You know, there's guys out there doing model building, flying model planes, uh, doing restoration on cars like rusty glove box. He likes to make knives and makes all kinds of things on his stuff And he's got some pretty cool looking rides And then yet We have a fellow model railroader who Happens to be in trouble And is having some hard times and it's up to good people like us to Come to his rescue and help him out. Goodwill goes a long way everybody like it's not all about me 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 we all live on the same planet we all need to help each other and we all need to stop fighting and bickering over stupid shit so that's my rant so back to uh back to uh, sparky's locomotive here uh, now that we've got it all cleaned up and we'll just flip it around the so we can see the other side I just don't want to show one side because somebody's gonna say well you're only showing one side how about the other side it's probably all screwed up uh, it's probably that tool they'll say something and I expect that tool to comment on this video too oh well go ahead tool you're just jealous Look at that, that's a nice cleanup job. We got her up and running. So in the next few days, uh, probably uh, this weekend, we're gonna have this thing running around the layout uh, pulling some cars. And tooting its horn and ringing its bell and flashing its lights. Oh look, I missed the spot. Oh, somebody's going to say something about that. Look, I missed the dirt. Oh, it's got a dirty spot. Uh. Well, I'm just going to have to get some rubbing alcohol in there and clean that dirty spot up. Well, another dirty spot. You know, there's still a few dirty spots on the locomotive. You didn't do a good enough job. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, there we go, Dave. Let's see this thing run one more time before I shut her down. Do, 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 do. Start me up, she says. Yeah.
kind of would help if I re uh, release the brake, eh? There we go. Well, somebody will probably make a comment about my beer bottle sitting there. Oh, yeah, I'm drinking beer, shooting videos. See, I'm like Scotty off of Star Trek. I'm a miracle worker. I've got it. I've got it, Captain. I've got it. everything I've got. You're just going to have to fire me. <laughs> All right. She's working good, everybody. So where to go? It's over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another job well done. Alright, thanks for watching everybody, and we'll catch you later. Bye for now.